This is data from the Federal Reserve, uh, Federal Reserve Economic Data called FRED. And we have the weekly price of crude oil um, in what's called West Texas Intermediate, measured in Cushing, Oklahoma. That's a quality of crude oil um, per barrel. And uh, US conventional gasoline. That's a style of gasoline. Um, so these are two common metrics. So we can plot these. I'll just do an insert um, over time. So you can see time at the bottom, and there's fluctuation. It's hard to see because the prices are so different. Uh, but what we want to look at here is actually just a scatter plot of these values to see if they're related. So these are my values for crude and gasoline. I'll go to scatter plot. Right. So I have this scatter plot that shows the price of crude on the bottom and the price of gasoline on the top. And the question is, is there a relationship between these two? Um, so let's, I'm going to right click and say add trend line. That gives me a regression line. Bring that in so you can see it. And it defaults to the blue like everything else. So I'm just going to change it to red so it's easier to see and make it thicker so we can see it more easily. I'll also just make it a straight line. There we go. So that is my regression line. And what this is showing is that as the price of crude increases, the price of gasoline at the pump increases. And that makes sense. If it costs more to buy crude, crude is the raw input to make gasoline, then the resulting price of gasoline is going to be higher. Um, so here on my panel, I'm formatting my chin line. I can come down here and I can say display the equation and display the R squared on the chart. Um, I don't know if I can make that larger. It's very small. There we go. All right. So this is showing the equation. And for every $1 increase in the price of crude, the price of gasoline goes up about two cents. Our R squared is showing the amount of the variance that's explained in this model. Um, so that's 86%. That's a lot of the variance. That means the model is pretty strong. It's a pretty strong relationship here. Um, and it makes logical sense. I do believe that the price of crude is related to the price of gasoline at the pump, and it makes sense to me that as the price of oil increases, the price at the pump increases as well. So I did that regression just making this scatter plot. Right, once again, I went to my data, I click my two columns, I hit Shift Command Down Arrow to select all of my data, Insert, Scatter Plot. Then I right click on the blue dots, hit add trend line, and that gives me the regression. On my sidebar here for formatting, I can do display equation, display, display R squared. And that gives it for me. So I've now created that regression. Um, so another thing that we can look at, we could do the same kind of approach. If we went over to data, data analysis, regression, my y is going to be the price of gasoline. My x is the price of crude oil. I have labels. And this gives us the same information that we saw in the scatter plot. I'm just going to bring this over here so we can see it. Okay, so our r squared value here is the same as the r squared here. And you can see our coefficients for the intercept 
and the price of oil. So what we have is strong evidence of this relationship, um, and we can see that a one unit increase in the price of crude oil is associated with a 0 0.0226 unit increase in the price of conventional gasoline. Right? Um, and so we do know what these units are, so we can actually change that to a one dollar increase in the price of crude oil is associated to a two point dollar increase in the price of conventional gasoline. Easy to do. Finally, I'll just show one last way of doing it with Excel stat. modeling data, linear regression. My dependent variable is gasoline. And my quantitative explanatory variable or independent variable is crude price. I have my labels. And you can see here, it actually gives us the exact same values that we got before. graph over again just for comparison um, we can see that the price here is exactly the same as the equation that we have here exactly the same information just a different way of doing it